Hi, welcome to Ed Foodie. Today we're going to do a video to help you get rid of all those Easter eggs. Uh, where I'm from, up in uh, Northeast Ohio, it was uh, very popular to have pickled eggs. And uh, gosh, most of all the bars had a big jar of pickled eggs and some of the convenience stores had them and uh, just very popular item up there. And uh, the way they pickle their eggs up there was with uh, beet juice. You have some vinegar and beet juice and they turn out to real pretty sort of a pinkish purple um, color. And uh, the beet juice just adds a lot of really good uh, flavor to the eggs. So without further ado, let's get started on this. All right, I'm only going to make four uh, pickled eggs today. So I've got a you know small pot, four eggs, and make sure your water is well covered the eggs. Everybody has their own version of how to boil eggs so that the shells don't stick when you peel. So uh, this is just how I do it. I don't normally have any problems. Um, I've got the water in the pot with the eggs. I'm going to turn my burner pretty high. And then I'm going to cover it just uh, so that the water heats up quicker. And so uh, what we're going to do here is just wait. As soon as you start to see a little bit of the, the bubbles starting to come up, I'll turn my heat down so that it's just a, just a nice little simmer, not, not too hard of a boil. And we'll boil them for 12 minutes. Take them off, put them in an ice bath. And I think that's probably the most important thing, I think, that really helps um, the shells from sticking when you peel. And then let them sit in that cold water till the till the eggs cool off. All right, let me show you here. It's just starting to boil, so I'm going to turn my burner down to maybe a medium low, and I'll start my timer for 12 minutes. So I don't know if you can see this well or not, but it's just on a you know low boil. All right, 12 minutes is up. We'll turn our burner off. Then what I'm going to do is go to the sink and I'm going to rinse this off with cold water, maybe three or four times. Okay, I've rinsed this off where it's uh, cool enough to touch. I'll put my eggs in a little plastic bowl. I got a big cup of ice. And then just enough water to give it a nice cold bath, you know, enough to cover the, the eggs. All right, I'm gonna let this go for maybe 20 minutes. Um, I don't know if you have to go that long, but it'll be nice cool centers in the eggs and they'll be easy to peel. They won't be too hot. All right. It's actually only been about 10 minutes. These feel pretty cool to the touch. So let's see how they, how well they peel. Very nice. Very good. You ever notice when you make hard boiled eggs just to eat, they always peel just great. But as soon as you want to make deviled eggs or something that's gonna take a nice presentation, the shells always seem to stick for some reason. Wonderful. All four turned out good. All right, the rest is real easy. I'm going to put, um, you don't really have to put any salt if you don't want to. I'm gonna put in about a one and a half teaspoons. You know, if you can, if you just put salt on the egg when you're ready to eat it. And um, what I've got here, it's an old olive jar. It's about 20 ounces of liquid. Uh, all my bigger jars um, I've got filled with sauerkraut right now. So for 20 ounce jar, I'm gonna start with about a quarter cup of white vinegar. We'll get that salt dissolved good. And uh, you can make these just with the beet juice 
or uh, you can put in, you can experiment on this on some spices you like. I like to stick just a, like a real small skinny um, cinnamon stick. That's purely optional. You could put dill in there if you want or whatever, you know, mustard seeds. All right, so now I have one can. I'm gonna to try to get two cans in here. I don't know if it'll fit or not of um, cut beets. That, you know, you could put whole beets, sliced beets, so it doesn't make any difference. I just like the, the cut. We're gonna pour all the juice in here, hopefully not spill any. Now I'm gonna drop my eggs in. Actually, it looks like one can is going to be enough. Then I'm going to go ahead and put some of the beets in there. Uh, I guess I'll eat the rest of these for lunch. Okay, we'll put the lid on, put them in the refrigerator. Uh, of course, the longer you leave these in here, the, the, the better and the more flavor the eggs are going to absorb. Um, I like to leave them in for like seven to ten days. That gets... Uh, all of the white will turn red, and maybe even a little bit of the, the yolk center uh, start to turn red, and that's kind of how I like them. Very simple. All right, it's been 10 days since the eggs have been soaking. Let's see if I can get that good there. So you can see that the pinkish purple is just barely starting to get into the yolk. So it really looks beautiful. Uh, let's taste these. I like to put some fresh pepper on mine. Vinegar gives it just a little bit of tartness, which is great. And I don't know, the beet juice, to me, tends to make it almost a little bit sweet. Um, but I love these things, they are so good. Now you know what to do with all those leftover Easter eggs. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Ed Foodie right over there. Thank you for watching.